So, Karine's got me walking up a trail. When I say up, I'm not kidding. We're all out of breath. <laughs> We're all out of breath. We've probably walked about a quarter mile, which is about a third of the trail. And it is straight stinking up. <laughs> what, what's the name of the trail? Anderson Reservoir. It's on... Uh... Trapper Lake Road. And uh, we're still working our way up. Uh, it's beautiful up here. I'll give you a shot from the others in the, what, what, what we're seeing here. But my goodness, that's a lot of work. Here's the view from the trail heading up. Well, we made it up to Henderson Reservoir. That's the longest short walk I've had in a long time probably several hundred feet of vertical elevation in that three quarters of a mile. folks and welcome back to another Travels of Red Rover. I'm Sean. And I'm Corrine. And where are we today? We are in the flat top wilderness of Colorado and we are up by uh, Duntley Pass. And it is absolutely gorgeous up here. We're a little ahead of peak color uh, but there's still an awful lot of color up here. And uh, we've taken the uh, opportunity to use the van's four-wheel drive capabilities and driven off-road a little ways to this beautiful spot here in the forest. Yep, we've lucked out on a lovely boondocking spot, although there's a lot of pine trees in this area, but we're getting some groups of aspen too. So we sure hope you enjoy the rest of the video. So we spent most of the day and good part of the next day at a place called Dunkley Pass. It was a lot of fun and a gorgeous location to shoot. One of the difficulties we had was that it was so beautiful on the way up and on the way back down again that we had to keep stopping to shoot this beautiful environment. We've come a little further down the road from the pass. We're heading towards Yampa. Found this beautiful stand out here. So after a full day of shooting, Crane found us this interesting fire road it was a bit on the gnarly side, although I have to say the video just doesn't do it justice. Uh, that we took back into the backcountry, and uh, Corrine had found that there was uh, reportedly some uh, campsites, uh, and we were able to find one of those campsites. So it was a great road, and it was nice to go off and do some boondocking. Uh, by the way, the van did very well uh, in these circumstances. So this is the second campsite you come to. Uh, it's a bit more aggressive road getting here. And uh, it is quite large. Has a nice fire ring back in the corner there. As you see, we have it all to ourselves. And I are out boondocking. Found a beautiful spot in the forest here with all the beautiful colored aspens. Are you having a nice time out here, Corrine? Yes, other than the hike I picked yesterday was too steep. Yeah, it was a bit tough yesterday. But right now we're just out in these beautiful forest roads. Uh, these are four-wheel drive roads out here. And it's just gorgeous. We've seen deer and we saw a moose actually wander into our camp this morning. In fact, we were so startled that Cream managed to get a picture, but we didn't get a camera up to actually do any video this morning. Well, we're just about at the end of the road. And it's uh, still got some pretty aspens out here. Green's taking the photograph. But uh, we're just about done, and then we'll have to head on bump back. One of the things about doing a forest walk is that even though there's some beautiful color out to our, uh, probably just a little bit north of us here, uh, unfortunately, there are not many clearings to actually see that color. It, uh, it's pretty difficult to find those clearings, but when you do, you have to take advantage of them. And here's our reward for walking to the end of the road. It comes to this absolutely gorgeous little stream down here. After a lovely walk and a great breakfast, Crean and I were back underway again. 
heading out of the road. And while we were coming out of the road, we ran into a little windstorm of leaves, which was a lot of fun. Once we got back on the main road, we headed up to Dunkley Pass. And uh, the drive up and the drive down is absolutely gorgeous. I know I've mentioned that several times, but I can't emphasize that enough. If you decide to ever come to this area, make sure you leave yourselves lots of time to just uh, play and photograph and see these beautiful trees. We are at Dunkley Pass, and it's absolutely gorgeous up here. This is our second time here. We were here yesterday late afternoon, and there were no clouds. Uh, and it's just, the lighting is just so much better today. So with these beautiful clouds that we have, the light has been very variable on the trees. And what I'm doing is I'm using the spotlighting of the sunlight to highlight some of the areas in the shots. For our second night uh, in the area, Kareem found us this beautiful forestry camping spot on uh, Chapman Reservoir. It was a great location. Uh, not only did we get some nice photography, but we got an evening of fishing as well. There's a nice little aspen grove here. And uh, one thing that is interesting to note is that there's this evergreen tree clump in the midst of it. What happens scientifically is that the aspen will grow first after an area has been cleared, usually after a fire. And then they create a canopy of leaves, which gives more shade to the forest floor. And then the evergreen trees can revegetate once they have some shade. So eventually the evergreens may overtake these aspens. Kareen and I have come down to Chapman Reservoir and we're going to do a little reflection photography. Hopefully the sun will come out and just give us a little bit more uh, light on those uh, beautiful aspens out in the distance there. We already have the beautiful white puffy clouds being reflected up. So that's pretty gorgeous, but it would be nice to have a little bit more uh, light on those aspens. Sean says he's doing photography, but it looks more like he's fishing. 
No luck yet. Well, we got some beautiful reflection shots, but sunset was kind of disappointing. We also caught two nice little fish that'll be nice little pan fryers. And here are some of the photographs that we did take at Chapman Reservoir. We hope you enjoy them. We're currently working our way up the road to Yampa. It's absolutely beautiful up here. We're not making much progress because we have to stop every couple minutes. Karina and I drove down off the mountain for a little bit of civilization. We are in the town of Yampa. Dirt roads and all. We had uh, lunch at uh, Penny's Diner. beautiful spot to come and visit. This may be one of the best stocked little stores I've ever been to, uh, especially for a little town like this. Groceries and fishing gear and camping gear and all kinds of different interesting things. Karine's just coming out. She went to see if she could find us some iced tea. And after a terrific visit to Yampa, we were off to find new adventures. So we've had a couple of days out here on what I'm calling the Yampa Road, of course. Creed's going to correct me on that in a second. This is the Flat Top Wilderness Scenic Byway. And it has been absolutely glorious out here, especially when we got some white puffy clouds. But to get her expert opinion, what did you think? I enjoyed it. Uh, very nice scenery up here. A uh, bit bumpy roads, but manageable. And especially in our vehicle, it was no trouble at all. Um, lots of color. So it's very early in the season, lots of yellows. And just the beginning of the leaves starting to blow off with the wind. And to top it all off, we caught a couple of fish last night. So we had fish and eggs this morning for breakfast, which was very yummy. Yeah, we were camped tonight at Chapman Reservoir which is on the Yampa side of the scenic byway. And there was some good trout in there. Yep, though Kree and I only caught two, the guys on either side of us were catching fish like every five minutes. So I don't know what Kree and I were doing wrong, but uh, we were definitely not the favorite for the trout last night. It was just enough to eat and we didn't want to have a lot to store anyway. So it worked out fine. Anyway, we've had a lot of fun and it's time for us to move on. Well, we sure hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please give us a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of our videos, would you go ahead and hit that subscribe button? It would be very much appreciated. And we thank everyone who has subscribed so far. And as always, if you want to know when we release videos, hit that little bell button over there. And we love your questions and comments. So if you have anything to share with us, or you'd like to know more about the areas we were visiting, just put it in the comment section down below and we'll be sure to respond as soon as we can. And until next time, bye for now. Bye for now. Thank you.